It's not bad. So that's that's how short this game is. You can do it in two and a half hours or less. Heck, I, I bet if you were playing in two player with a second active player, you could probably finish this thing really quickly. What's this? It's not like within like an hour and a half. All right, just give it a second. There it is. Uglyville is perfect-ish. And Ugly Hero, you just got a platinum trophy. Wonder what your next one will be. You just got a platinum trophy. Let's celebrate. You just got a platinum trophy. Wonder what your next one will be. You just got a platinum trophy. Let's celebrate. Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here. We're on the road to my 406th Platinum Trophy. Today's game was Ugly Dolls, an imperfect adventure. You already saw the Platinum Trophy unlock uh, as a highlight from a recent stream. Well, it might not be recent by the time this video goes up, but yes, this was another one of those Platinums I earned on a live stream. I need to delete some trophy images. I didn't realize I had that many still saved on here. Uh, but anyway, this is a very, very easy Platinum Trophy. It is a kids movie tie-in game, very loosely based on the Ugly Dolls movie of 2019. Uh, the game is very, very easy to get the Platinum in. Uh, it takes 6 to 10 hours. You will have to complete the game twice, though, which is a little bit annoying. So, you need to complete the game twice, once as Moxie and once as Ox. They have no differences between them, so it doesn't matter who you pick. You just have to beat the game as both of them. And on your second playthrough, you just speed run it in like two and a half hours. Uh, you will get all of these trophies here just by completing the story. All of those are unmissable story-related trophies. Uh, this one is also unmissable story-related. Uh, this one you'll get half of through natural progression, while the second half you won't. Uh, you'll have to go out of your way to do it, but it's not really difficult. Just trap a few extra robots in the giant bag. Uh, lure five into the water, that's pretty easy. Just lead them toward the water and you'll be fine. Uh, spend 30 seconds in the water. This one's pretty easy. Just use the inflatable. You'll need to use it twice to get it. Uh, 10 robots in bubbles. You'll need two bubble guns to do it, but this is very easy. Just trap them in bubbles. No difficulty there. Uh, spend 30 seconds hiding in boxes. You'll need two boxes to, the, to do that, but also very easy. Uh, rummage in 50 places is unmissable as far as I know. Uh, playing in two player, it's very easy. Just plug in a second controller and hit start and they'll jump in but i gotta tell you guys the quality of the game like the visual quality drops to like in 64 levels when you jump in a second player so yeah i mean it would speed the game up a lot because it would allow you to both cover parts of the map at any given time and really go for like a speed run but it is a it is kind of funny just how badly the video quality will drop or the game quality will uh, this trophy for getting five robots to dance at the same time, as well as getting five of them to follow you at the same time. This is probably the hardest one in the game. I would highly recommend getting one of the alarm bots to follow you during, like, Chapter 5 and have them follow you to where you rescue Ugly Dog, because there should always be guards around there. Or robots, I guess you could say. And get a bunch of them to follow you, and then throw down a radio, have a few radios with you at once. And you should eventually get it. There's also been statements that this trophy is glitched for some people. I didn't personally run into any problems. Other players have. So you might want to be a little bit more cautious of that. Because the game does have a point of no return uh, in that it doesn't have any post-game free roam once you finish the story, the seven chapters. So do keep that in mind as well. Uh, 20 points in a level, very easy. So just scavenge 20 times in a single level. Uh, chargers will kill you in three hits. So you'll either need to die every other de every other time you get hit or heal up using the heart craftable. Nothing difficult there, though. Uh, these guys are not particularly common. You can find them mostly later on in the game near electrical traps. Uh, get teleported ten times. These guys shoot like a little teleportation bubble, and you have to get hit by it to get uh, teleported somewhere else. A little bit grindy, but not difficult. Uh, 10 switches, I think this is unmissable. This one is just about unmissable. Uh, you just have to slide around on ice for 30 seconds. So the first time you see ice, just go ahead and get it done. The air vents, I think this one's unmissable. The 15 meters, I don't know if it's unmissable, but a lot of people have it. So presumably it's pretty easy to get. I don't remember where I got it, but just use the pogo sticks and the hover hat to do it. And then finally use the hover hat for 30 seconds. Again, you'll need two of them. So, yes, very, very easy Platinum Trophy takes 6 to 10 hours. Level 69, 82%, 17,291 total trophies, 406 Platinums, 2,310 Golds, 4,444 Silvers, 10,131 Bronzes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you for the next one.